Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting a cup with some hot chocolate in it and some marshmallows also. And I did drew my sketch and onto it added a couple of dots for those dots on the cup. And well, that is basically it. Sketch is available for download as most of the times. So there is a link in the description. Go ahead, find it, download the sketch for yourself and trace it and we can get started. First, I painted the inside of the cup and for that I've mixed in a blue. This is a little bit darker blue and a brown color to get this grayish color. And when finished with that, the same one wash, I picked up a little bit of the paint for the marshmallows and then moved on to painting the, well, the shadows of the cup again with that grayish color and also maybe some, uh, how do you call that? Steam, not really steam, but maybe it is steam going out from the cup and then painted in the handle. And as you can see, I'm also using that grayish color and I've painted the entire handle in one same color, one same wash. And when finished with that, I just rinsed my brush and picked up a little bit of the paint on the lower part to make it look as though there is some part in the shadow and that part is actually in the front and it's a little bit lighter. Now that the paint is still wet, I've picked up a little bit of uh, that paint and I did not draw marshmallows on my sketch. So I will add that on your sketch. So when you download it, the marshmallows will be sketched, but I did not. So I was basically doing it, you know, on for my mind, maybe not perfect, but you know, I've, I've just, I was thinking where to place them, pick up a little bit of the paint and then add it just a little bit of light brown to the part where they are just to make it look as though there is some hot chocolate on those marshmallows. Now I've mixed in red and a little bit, well, that is brown with just a reddish tint and a little bit of white color to get that. Well, I do love that color, you know, that is just some vintagey, vintagey pink color and I've painted in the cup and again in one same even wash. And after that, I picked up a little bit of more of that red and also a little bit more of that brown and did the parts that are in shadow. That is the lower part of the cup. I also decided to make it look as though when the cup was painted, some of the paint went into the handle. So I've added a little bit more of that red onto the handle. And then with a smaller detail brush, I've picked up while the paint is still wet, I've picked up a little bit of the paint, leaving that white spot looking like there is some light reflecting on those parts. Now with a script of brush, I will be painting that edge of the cup on the upper part and also on the lower part. And later on, I will add a little bit more again of that, well, brown color with red tint to make that border even darker. Also, right now I'm just fixing some parts where maybe I did not make the edges very crisp. Um, with this script, script brush, I just fixed those edges so they would be a little bit more crisper. Thank you. 
When everything is dry, I moved on to painting the hot chocolate and also the marshmallows. And I'm using this lighter brown. I think that is something like ochre or maybe some raw sienna, something like that. And I'm going also on to the part where the cup is, onto the cup, looking though as when we were mixing it, hot chocolate, some went onto the cup. So that part you can see in the finished painting will be a little bit lighter and the part where the hot chocolate is will be a little bit darker. And I'm just going around my marshmallows, adding maybe some, in some places where the hot chocolate will be on our marshmallows, but mostly I'm just going around them. And you can see right now I'm adding a little bit of that darker color onto the part where the hot chocolate is, leaving the part that is on the cup a little bit lighter. Also, I've added a little bit of that grayish color also onto the cup. Well, just to make it a little bit darker, to not look as though it is completely white. And again, adding a little bit more of the shadows. This time I'm using quite dark black. I will be adding one more layer just beneath the cup. But this time I've added a little bit more black and again tapped it in downwards, looking as the shadow is breaking and of course becoming lighter. And when everything dried and our hot chocolate, of course, it should be completely dry because if not, when you move on to this step, it will smudge. So just leave it to dry completely or dry it with your hair dryer. I moved on to painting the marshmallows and again, I'm using that gray color, just adding it here and there where the marshmallow is in the shadow. And on some parts, adding a little bit of that brownish color to make it look as though it is on the marshmallow. This third one, I really didn't like how it looked. It looked to me as though if it's, I don't know, somewhere floating in the air, it wasn't looking believable. So I will be later on picking up a little bit of the paint beneath it make, to make it look as though it is in the it is on the hot chocolate and not somewhere in the air. Adding a little bit more of the details to that marshmallow, some shadows, some highlights. And you can see right now I'm picking up the paint from that third marshmallow. And for the final details on the marshmallow, I mixed in that brown color and also the gray color I've used and made some borders between the parts that are in shadow and those that are highlighted and also on the parts where the marshmallow is touching our chocolate. When finished with those and when I made sure that everything is completely dried, I moved, removed the masking fluid from our dots and you can see right now they look just so, so cute. And also with 
some white gel pen I've added a little bit more of the highlights on the cup and that is actually the final detail with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching for your all your support if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still well don't wait subscribe to my channel and if you want to go even step further maybe consider joining my channel click that join button next to the subscribe listen to the offer and decide whether or not you want to join and again guys thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye